Welcome back. In this lesson, we are going to be turning on the 3D print toolbox and showing you some cool tricks. So to turn on any modifiers, you want to go to edit up here at the top left and go to preferences. And you should get a pop-up box like this here. And we are going to go to add-ons and just type in print and you should see mesh 3D print toolbox. Just make sure that is checked and that will turn it on and enable it. And to make sure that you have it on, we're going to save. So there's a little hamburger stack down here in the bottom left. Click on that and save preferences. Notice that it also has auto save preferences. So it should, it should just auto save it, but um, just to be sure. And now we can go ahead and close. And if we hit in on our keyboard while we're hovering over our 3D viewport, we'll bring up our information panel and you should have a 3D print tab now. And so if you click on the 3D print tab, make sure you have your Suzanne or your object selected. And right off the bat, it's going to give you stats about the volume. So you can go ahead and click that. There's your volume, there's your area. And so click those two buttons just to kind of get used to this tool. It's also gonna check your object for whether or not it's solid or manifold, which is the word we learned earlier. You know, does it have any holes in it? So this will check and it's saying, oh, it does have some holes. It's got 42, um, holy edges here. So we're going to address that later. It'll also check for intersections. So there's 52 intersecting faces and we'll talk more about that later. Uh, it'll check for if it's degenerate, if it's distorted, how thick it is, um, if the edge is too sharp or if there's overhangs and it needs support. And that's our 45 degree rule right here. Um, so that's what all these buttons do. It's just going to you know, click on these and it'll give you results. You can also just check all and it'll give you everything all at once. That's what I do. It's just get in the habit of hitting check all. And then once you've kind of seen what is the issue, you can use these last tabs to clean it up, uh, fi uh, transform it and export it. And we'll go more over this in later in this course. Um, the Distorted will try and fix some of the edges for you and Make Manifold will try and make the object manifold for you, which is pretty cool. And then we have transform. If you wanted to transform your object to a certain volume or bounds, uh, I don't use that too often, but it's there if you need it. And then you have export. And this is what I want you to get used to using by the end of this beginner course is always exporting your designs through this 3D print toolbox because it makes your workflow so much faster. So here you would tell Blender where you want to save your, your 3D printable files and do not check apply scale. Make sure that's unchecked and copy textures is unchecked. And then you've got your format and this is your STL. So remember like we were talking about in the earlier videos, STL is the 3D object itself. So that's what we want it to export as. You can also change it to different files like OBJs, which is just an object file. For the most part, we're just gonna leave it on STL. And then yeah, we'll export from here. So that is the 3D print toolbox in a nutshell. It is very powerful and very, very helpful. So we're gonna talk more and more and more about this uh, throughout this lesson or these courses. So let's go ahead and keep on trucking along and learning about some other add-ons that we can use to make our lives a little bit easier.